Talk Smart about the whipping up the left these days, what Beto is trying to do on the campaign trail. That's what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has been doing as a freshman Democrat in the House of Representatives. But when oh she goodness, gets one. out there this sometimes, one. she occasionally gets a little ahead of the skis, uh, came out uh, a couple of nights ago and claimed that Congress amended the Constitution to stop FDR from being reelected, even <laughs> though that amendment process happened after, after she said it did. Listen to her and we'll, we'll give you the facts. When our party was boldest, the time of the New, New Deal, the Great Society, the Civil Rights Act, and so on, we had and carried supermajorities in the House, in the Senate. We carried the presidency. They had to amend the Constitution of the United States to make sure Roosevelt did not get reelected. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we, you know, there were so many extraordinary things that were happening in that time that were uniting working people. Uh, extra might be a good word because it turns <laughs> out when you look at the facts, April 12th, 1945, FDR died. March 24th, 1947, Congress approved the 22nd Amendment. Oh, two years later. Two years later, okay, after good. he died. So it did not prevent his re-election. And in February 1951, the 22nd Amendment to the Constitution. So, of course, there were a lot of... Facts are little. Well, yeah, there were a lot of people that felt like maybe we shouldn't elect presidents for four terms. Mm -hmm. George Washington set a, a historic precedent by only serving two terms. Maybe we should stick to that. Let's go back to that. So you can... <laughs> so she's right that FDR being in there for consecutive terms in general got this movement going, but That's to say it prevented said, him from being reelected is not what happened. Yeah, and it's also an important point because she's so overconfident because she's used to not being challenged and she's used to most in media supporting her and she gets to say, oh, they just don't like me. No, the issue a lot of people have with you is that some of the stuff you say makes no sense. It makes no sense. The Green <laughs> I, New Deal you put out makes no sense. Take some responsibility. And if you're going to talk about historical context, you've got to get it right or you're going to be held to account Listen, if you want to take it seriously. I kind of like what she said. I say we unite the working people, <laughs> we amend the Constitution, right. allow for three or four terms, and then Trump can run again in 2024. Oh, so this is Donald Trump, right. Yeah, like yeah, if she, if she thought twist. that was a bad move, I'm all in. Let's let's amend the Constitution and see if Trump can get a think, third four term. Four or five terms? Two, five, six, six seven, so. whatever. It's <laughs> whatever. You know? <laughs> uh, maybe oh, we could partner on that. Tweet me, AOC. What do you think about that? Friends uh, at FoxNews.com. Is Pete getting a little carried away? Maybe. Yeah, maybe a little. Hey, if it's in the Constitution. <laughs>